Well, what have we here? Package, eBay. Another purchase that I probably shouldn't have made. Another machine, or part of a machine that I saw and felt sorry for. It's a multi-cyclic technology Hoover. No, it isn't. It is another Amiga with no chips at all. A broken Agnes socket. That's tragic. Let's see whether there's any voltage on this battery. 0.2 volts. There we go, there's one side. You can see there that a fairly unreasonable amount of force have been used to remove the Agnes chip. They've drilled out the bottom and just poked the chip through. That is really naughty. It's under a microscope with arrow diet and a cocktail stick. I'm really hoping there's no vias or anything under that. I don't think there are, but yeah, not clever. But it should give it a bit more strength. For the most suspicious area here is going to be right under the battery. This exposed a bit of the track there. And you can see this dark area here. It's supposed to come down here, and it's supposed to join onto that. Now that is exposed, but there's no connection there. There's definitely no connection there. So I think there's a break here. See that there? That's the break. That is the break. That could well be why it's got a grey screen. I don't think there are any traces underneath the Agnes. I've checked all of these, and these are all grounds. I'm going to lift this chip because this chip was right next to the battery. It was covered in green, blue gunk. It may have survived, it may have not. These are the memory control. I think they're memory control. And what I've done is I've traced on the schematic where they go between each other, the CPU and the Agnes chip and Gary. Because that's the area that was subject to the battery damage. I haven't done it all. What I have done is a little spreadsheet just... just each pin where it goes and I'll link that in the description. I'm pretty sure now that these are connected at least to and they're going to where they're supposed to be going here they're going to where they're supposed to be going here and they're going to where they're supposed to be going over on the CPU. This is actually one of the better ones I've seen. What I'm going to do now is put this little guy on a tester. You can use a EEPROM programmer. This is a TL, I think it's 8662 plus. It's an EEPROM programmer, but it's got a logic test function so you can test them for logic. You can see this one's failed, so it's a good job I did pull it. You basically go up here, select the chip you want, and you get all sorts of chips. 74LS244, select. Make sure you put it in the right way, and then you click test. And that chip is bad, that chip's bad because it was covered in battery acid. So, from fixing a few of these, I know that those chips, more often than not, they're bad. So, there might be others that are bad, but that one definitely is. After having done all the, gone through the schematic, 
the hard way. I found this picture on Ami Bay, or Aminet even. Aminet, I found this picture on Aminet. I've linked it in the description on my Google Drive. So you will not have the headache I had. Someone stripped a board back. If I find the author, I'll credit them in the description. They stripped the board entirely back and drew all the traces on the picture of the area that could be effective. So I am now going to trace these all through, and I'm not going to bore you with that. All of the lines here, check out. I will link this. It's bigger than this. It's the whole board. But I'm just using this bit. So now plug it in with a good power supply, which I've fixed in another video, and see if anything gets hot. Okay, I'm going to do some voltages. Just quickly check the board's not putting out complete rubbish. It shouldn't do because all the voltage regulation is done in the power supply. These are the pins I'm going to check. Let's clean 5 volts. Paula 8 is ground and 27 is VCC. You could obviously use any ground point. They're all going to be the same, I think. The 68,000 pin 14 is VCC. 5 volts. And the CIA pin 20. 20 there. VCC. Agnes 15. There you go. Quickly going to check on the back here that's nothing shorted on the Agnes. There's a brand new Agnes chip. Well, not brand new, but brand new for me, by. You can tell, pin one mark, I don't know if you can see that little dimple in the chip, that lines up with a one here. Don't get it in the wrong way, I don't think you can because it's got a nick out of that corner and a nick out of that corner. That's in there. So I'm just going to go away and repopulate the rest of the board. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god, it works. So, as you can see, despite having a hole drilled in it and being sold for parts only, this machine is now fully working. So it looks like this machine's fixed. I'm a bit annoyed at the vendor for putting a moody picture on there, showing that the board didn't have a hole in it, and then sending me a board that did have a hole drilled in it. I'm debating whether to name the vendor. If you want me to, I will. If you don't want me to, I won't. Okay, so thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all later.